Hey guys, making this video because I am 10 seconds out of my car and the heat is killing me. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was a good idea that if I come in at noon, I'll avoid all of the like rush. And cause like people will be leaving their morning classes, right? No, that's not how it works apparently. And so I'm parked really far away. Fingers crossed that I find my car later because realistically, I'm gonna have a really hard time. But yeah, so here I am walking to class. Wait, I don't have classes. I'm walking to lab. <laughs> oh, this is not a good first day of classes see that whatever I can walk I'm probably gonna edit that out also with my super awesome editing skills but yeah, I'm talking to you guys because if I don't talk I'm going to like not enjoy this heat at all um yeah why did I do this to myself Oh, right, because I have my thesis to work on. I can't wait until I can stop talking about my thesis and talk about real life. Because I have one figure left, which will take like 20 minutes to make. But like, another 24 hours to mentally prepare myself to make this figure. <laughs> it's fine though, my thesis is due Wednesday. I have time. I have plenty of time. Just checking. Don't want to get run over. Okay, I'm gonna pause it while I cross the crosswalk. Okay, I'm back. Survive crossing the crosswalk. Um, yeah. So, I do have something I really want to talk about. And first I'll talk about it, then I'll get into other stuff because this has been on my mind all weekend. Also, actually, I'm just gonna wait because they're mowing the grass and I don't think you'll be able to hear me once I start walking past there. And I wanna say hi. So you all just missed me dropping my phone and all of my like cards falling out. I promise I know how to like walk and be an adult. Um, I promise. But yeah, so there's something I wanted to talk about. It's a little more serious than the things I usually talk about. And that's just because it was, it's been on my mind all weekend about how we just have a lot of implicit bias that is basically like microaggressions, racism, whatever you want to call it really rude behavior um, basically like I was with a friend on Friday and we were chatting with some people and then they asked us where are you from no where are you originally from and I'm completely desensitized to the question I'm completely desensitized to this question I get asked it so frequently that I just sort of expect it. My friend on the other hand, they were really upset because it just makes them feel other. And they were born in China, but raised in the US since they were 18 months. And for them, it's like, all I've known is the US. Like, that is where my ties are, my identity. And so for them, getting asked this question is really othering and it makes them feel like they don't belong. And I just think that's a whole lot of trying to figure out how to play this nicely but drawing a blank. Yeah, it's just really bad. Like, 
I don't understand why we have to make people feel like they don't belong. And okay, I don't understand why we feel the need to be so invasive of other people. Like, why can't we just let people live their lives and just be happy for them being happy instead of trying to fit them into these stupid boxes that we make up that literally mean nothing. Like, does it really matter where someone's from? No. Like, it has no impact on anything, especially if you're only seeing them for like 30 seconds. Like. I don't understand why people can't just leave people alone. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. Especially because it's like... It's like... They're just asking for trouble. And... It's just another way to be racist. <laughs> or sexist. Or misogynistic. Whatever you want. Transphobic, homophobic all of these things because you're just so nosy that you can't stand that someone else is living their best life like just leave people alone it takes literally zero effort and yeah so that's my rant for today i've been thinking about this all weekend really upset that my friend got upset because of some people we ran into for a minute or talk to you guys. Hey, I definitely have less energy than before. Um, I don't know how I had so much energy this morning. Kind of crazy, but I've been in lab for like three hours and have gotten much less work than I should have. And I'm outside mainly because I feel like I'm distracting all my lab mates from doing their own work. But it's Monday, so it's fine. It's fine. But yeah. I'm out here. Just relaxing. Taking a break. I need a brain break. Like, procrastinating takes a lot out of you. Although I was productive, I wasn't just like sitting there doing nothing. I made, I processed data and made a graph for our paper, which is like time sensitive, but not as time sensitive as my thesis that's due in two days, less than 48 hours, whatever. It's fine. Life is fine. I have also like some data that I need to process and I have no clue how to look at the Excel sheet. I'm just like, um, these are numbers. I don't know what these mean because we got the data from the proteomics core, which is a protein core. And it's like a large spreadsheet. And I've been sitting on the data for like a while, a long time. And I don't know what it means. And I want to add it to chapter five and be like, look, I have things, but I don't know what it means. And no one else in the lab can help me. I don't understand. Why isn't there like a class on how to like process data? like? Why is it that learning how to analyze data is a job you have to learn like on the job or a thing you need to learn on the job? Like you can't just know it in advance. Like I would love to be able to just look at an Excel sheet and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But no, instead I have to be like, uh. I have no clue what this means and I have no clue how to know what this means, but other people who have done this before know what it means. Like, what? What is that? This is why, like, people can't be in academia because there's so many just hidden things that no one knows until they've done it. And it's like 
random chance if you do the right things or not or depending on who you know if they tell you to do the right things like I hate this I hate this a lot I could I could keep talking about this like this is like one of the things I hate the most about academia and there's a lot of things I hate about academia like there are good things too grad school isn't if I had to do grad school all over again, I would do it. But, like, I definitely consider myself lucky to have a PI who not only is super supportive, but also, like, has told me the, like, inner workings of grad school. But, yeah, I guess I should stop being distracted and actually get back to work maybe i'll make another video but just in case i don't because i can do bare minimum editing i'm gonna tell you guys to like comment and subscribe right now because i like it when you guys like comment and subscribe it's really nice especially having conversations with people because you guys are all really awesome and you make it you guys help me stay motivated like ever since i started doing these i've been having better days just because i feel like i can talk to people again even though like we're talking by me talking and then you guys typing and then me typing but that's a kind of talking so it counts anyways love you guys have a good day or good night. See ya. So yes, I'm totally aware. I've made an absurd number of videos and you guys can barely see me right now, but I'm bored. And okay, I should not be bored, <sighs> but I am. I'm like mentally drained, I guess is the better word. Like, I want to be productive so bad, but I just, I can't. Ugh, the sun has drained all my energy. It's so hot today. And I don't know, I'm nervous, okay? Like, it's just hitting me that in 16 days, I'm defending, 16. So a little over two weeks, and then I'm done, I'm doctor. Dr. Yasha, which is like insane to think about. Like, I am gonna be a fucking doctor. Oh my god, I screwed. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I keep doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be a doctor, and that's insane. Really, really, really insane. Ah, uh, and like I know I can do it but I'm nervous all the same like it's just crazy to think about like what questions are they gonna ask me will I be able to answer them do I know things let's find out <laughs> but also let's make sure you know things but how are you supposed to study for things when you don't know what questions you're gonna get asked? And I know me, I'm gonna look up all the wrong things because I get in my mind, I'm like, oh, I don't know this. This like really intricate mechanism is like super difficult. So I'm gonna look into it and like go down a rabbit hole. But then it turns out only I care about it. And so I wasted all this time looking into this. And then my committee's gonna ask me like, what's two plus two? And then I'll be like, I don't know, five? Like, very basic things. Cause you don't expect basic questions. But the thing is like, your committee doesn't know what you're doing. Like, sorry. Um, your committee doesn't know what you're doing. 
they're just sort of like there because they have their own expertise that overlaps with what you're working on. But that doesn't always mean that they know what you're working on. And so like, I know I have to anticipate questions that are easy, but the easy questions are the hardest because you're just like, you're not really asking me that. Like, you're actually trying to trip me up and ask me like a more difficult question just disguised as an easy question. And yeah, so that's me right now. That's what I'm worried about and that's why I can't get anything done because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. And instead of taking it step by step, I'm just like overwhelmed at how much I have to do and doing none of it. I love my brain. But hopefully, Talking about it out loud is gonna help me. And once I get my car and go back into lab, I'll be slightly more productive. I'm definitely gonna make that figure today because I also realized that my practice defense is next Monday. So I have seven days to finish my slides, which like isn't a big deal. I love making slides. <laughs> I know most people don't, but I really, really love it. And most of my slides are done. And I asked Emily and she said I can do like more psychomy stuff. Cause I was like, I know there's gonna be people who aren't in the lab. And especially I want my parents to understand. Like I want them to be like, oh, I finally know what Yasha has been working on for the past four years. And like why it takes multiple hours or days to get some experiments done and yeah I guess this is actually going to be my last video unless I continue to be productively unproductive in which case there will be a fifth video I did too many today I'm sorry guys like I don't expect anyone to watch all of them, especially not this one where it's like crazy lighting. But yeah, hope you all have fantastic days and like, comment, and subscribe. Perfect timing.